Most of us that watch this channel typically have a lot in common. Ken Gagne is a channel that's pretty much African-American dominated or black dominated. Usually you're in the United States. And if you're in the United States, even though I've never met you, I know a few things about you. One, you've worked. Two, you've paid taxes. And if you've worked and paid taxes and you kept your credit good enough, you probably have a good enough credit score to buy a house, right? Yeah, but it took some work. It took some work establishing your credit, paying your bills, getting a skill set, working real hard to be able to buy that house in America. Congratulations. Give yourselves a round of applause. And guess what? You work every day of the year. Damn sure are five days a week or six days a week. Most Americans work a lot, no matter your race. But just consider, you had to do all of that to be who you are. Some of you went to night school, you caught the bus to go to school, you paid your own tuition, you took out student loans, you're still paying student loans. But stop the show again. What would you feel if I told you that somebody who didn't work in America, who was not an American citizen, who didn't pay their taxes, but they can come into your country and qualify for a home loan? What would you say? You would think that I'm full of crap and what I'm saying doesn't make sense. And you probably would be right in 40 or 50 states in America. That's right. That wouldn't make sense. Unless you're talking about California. Yes, California has at least thought about giving illegal migrants the right or the ability to buy a house. I know that you don't believe me. Let's check it out. A proposed bill working its way through Sacramento could make it easier for undocumented immigrants to purchase a home in California. It's called AB 1840. AB 1840 adds specific wording to the California Dream for All program, which is the state's down payment assistance program. The wording would make undocumented immigrants able to apply for this money. I spoke with the author of the bill and the local politician against it. We said it was a dream for all, that that's what we meant. Assemblyman Dr. Joaquin Arambula from Fresno is the author of AB 1840. The bill says that applicants of the state's Dream for All program should not be disqualified based on their immigration status. The Dream for All program is a down payment assistance program for low to moderate income aspiring homeowners. Those selected get a 20% down payment on a home that has to be paid back plus interest if the homeowner sells it. For many people who have been here for years, if not decades, because we have a broken immigration system, who have been paying taxes and doing their hard work as well of building up a credit score, that we need to figure out how to open doors for all people to realize that dream of home ownership. We shouldn't move people to the front of the line that haven't paid their dues. El Cajon Mayor Bill Wells, who's also running for Congress, says he disagrees with AB 1840. He says the money for the California Dream for All Act should only go to legal U.S. citizens and veterans assistance programs. They should be first in line to buy homes and to get assistance, not people that, that to work from this country. And, you know, in, in fact, some that come from countries that that are young men and women were actually fighting against. Assemblyman Arambula says the money in the Dream for All program should be available to everyone who qualifies, which means they have to have a social security number or an I-10 number. He says there are already programs for veterans and more in the works. We're passing housing bonds that ultimately will allow us to bring resources specifically for our veterans and look forward to the opportunity to make sure that we're able to walk and chew gum at the same time. I don't understand why, why we're letting people that have lived here all their lives and sometimes for generations uh, twist in the wind and not be able to afford their own home. So if passed and signed by the governor, AB 1840 could go into effect in January of 2025. So guys, this is what I want to talk about. I'm not really a big political pundit kind of person. I'm not really a big Republican guy or independent guy or a Democratic guy. I'm the kind of person that says whatever makes sense, depending on your 
political structure in your political agendas. There is nobody on God's green earth that has a political agenda that says, you know what, as an American citizen, I've had to work, I've had to pay taxes, I've had to invest in my own retirement. I believe that it is completely okay for somebody to come across another place in the world and get what? A God dang home loan when your ass can barely afford to get a home loan and you work every day. You see what I'm saying? You work every day. What does that tell you? And again, I'm not the biggest political proponent, am I? No, I'm not. But at what point can Democrats continue to disrespect as black citizens? Guys, I've been talking about this in other aspects. Have you heard about Tiffany Hanyard, the city girl or super mayor, or you know, mayors like Monique Owen? People who are just complete jokes in the political sector, if you really think about it. Almost embarrassing, if not embarrassing. But what is the reason? I'm saying it to say this. People don't really take you seriously. That's all it is. Like, they can say, we love the black community, and then, how do I know you don't take me seriously? Well, when you have Joe Biden go and eat chicken with the black family, or you let somebody like Tiffany Henry become mayor, or Brandon Johnson. It's not to be taken seriously, and nothing in our agenda will help you develop as a group. See, these are the things that immigrants look for when they want to give their particular loyalty to a party, one of the first things I'm assuming they're going to ask is, well, how does our group benefit as a whole for voting for you? What are we going to get? Black Americans, aka African Americans, if you want to categorize it FBA, ADOS, we don't ask that. We vote down blue because it's true and it does rhyme. It doesn't matter who is there. So when you don't matter who is there, well then I can just treat you any kind of way I want and there are no rules or anything like that. So in California, who cares about the black population out there? If you're Californian, you think they don't know about all the attacks that happen against blacks from you know certain groups of the Latino community and things like that. Do you know how many of those are? Oh, of course we know them, but we don't wanna come out and talk about that right now. And that is the reality. Home loans should be for people that have a social security number, people who have earnings, people who have taxes, people who have a credit history over seven years. That's really who a home loan is for. A home loan is not for a person that is in the country illegally and not adding any value to the country. Not saying that they can't, but you've seen this. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shady Jackson. Back at it again. Push your fire. You just heard a bell. We're out.